Hello friend, Jerry Norton here, and I'm in the car driving right now to a local mastermind meetup group. I wanna share with you a couple ways that you should mastermind. All right, welcome to another video on the Real Estate Freedom TV channel where everything we do is centered on helping you learn how to master real estate, learn how to do real estate, specifically flipping houses, so that you can be, do, have, and give everything you want in life, and that's why we do this, and that's what this is all about. And uh, if you're new to the channel, then be sure to subscribe. I'm doing these videos like daily, and so you don't wanna miss out. Click the bell notification that will uh, let you know when a new video comes out so you don't miss it. And what I wanna do right now is I wanna talk to you while I'm uh, almost there driving to this meetup I'm doing. So this is a free mastermind put on by a local investor here that I'm good friends with and this is in Phoenix, and this mastermind group is, I mean, this thing is legit. These are all six-figure real estate investors, many of them flippers, but they're six-figure, all of them are six-figure earners, some of them six-figure monthly earners. I mean, they are serious players, they are amazing. And uh, it's a free mastermind, it's sharing ideas, and before I kind of talk to you a little bit about mastermind, and I do want to kind of take a step back here, and and just share with you something that has been extremely transformational for me in my business and in my life. When I first got started in this business 15 years ago, uh, many of you know my story, I was, I was broke, I was a construction worker, I dug holes for minimum wage, that was my start. And at the time I knew I wanted to get into real estate, I knew that was my way out. Um, but I also knew that I had one major problem that I had to fix as quickly as possible or I would never see success success and that was my mindset I knew mentally I had so many uh, things that had been conditioned from from my upbringing that I just weren't right about money about success and I knew enough I didn't know how but I knew enough that I had to fix that or it didn't matter what I did I wasn't gonna see results so here's what I did I went to the public library in Oxford, Michigan, where I was living at the time. This is a little suburb outside of Detroit. I went to Oxford, Michigan's public library and I checked out every tape and CD. At the time, we, I still had a tape deck and there were CDs, right? And I checked out every tape and CD I could on motivation, on business, on success. So I listened to Brian Tracy and Tom Hopkins and Zig Ziglar and the, the great legends, right? And I listened to them as I drove around throughout my markets in Detroit looking for deals. And when I was in the car, I was learning, I was building my mindset. And none of it was even real estate, it was all more mindset. And so that created a habit for me that has stuck with me all these years. And so now a couple things happen. When I'm in the car, I'm not listening to sports, I'm not listening to the radio, what a waste of time. When I'm in the car, I'm listening to audible books on success, motivation, business, money, finance. I'm listening to books or I'm listening to podcasts. Uh, I even listen to a lot of YouTube channels that I, that I really like and subscribe to. And so I'm constantly in a mode of what can I learn? What can I learn? How do I be a perpetual learner? How do I continue learning the things that I need to be successful? and never stop being a lifelong learner. I mean, imagine this. This is what studies show. Studies show that the average book, if it takes, it takes about a week to read if you were to read in that book for 45 minutes to an hour, average book. 45 minutes to an hour a day is about a book a week. Okay, so that means about four books a month, right? You know, you're, you're hitting about 50 books a year and they say that if you, this is studies that show Brian Tracy talks about this. If you were to read an hour a day in your field of choice, in your, in your profession, and within two years, you will be an expert, an expert, not good, not, not uh, pretty good, not decent, not okay. An expert, an expert in your field within two years, like doctorate's degree level in your field. And that's an hour a day, right? An hour a day. Isn't that powerful? Why aren't you doing that? You should do that. Your growth will be through the roof if you do that. So, you know, that's tip number one I wanna share with you or one of the tips that I wanna share with you is get 
on your personal growth scale. Schedule it, set aside an hour a day, 45 minutes a day, even if it's a half an hour a day. Set it aside, schedule it, do it religiously day in and day out, and you will see tremendous growth. And I honestly, I credit my success in real estate over the past 15 years and getting into this business and learning this business more to developing my mindset than developing my skill set in real estate. That just that just comes, you know, like you still got to focus on it, but it was more about getting my mind right than it was about learning any specific strategy or technique, okay? That's the first thing. And a mastermind aligns really well with that because what I love about masterminding, and I do, I do free masterminds and I do very expensive paid masterminds and I get different value out of each and there's a place for each, but it is so valuable to mastermind. And the key to masterminding is to make sure you join a group where it is a go-giver mindset. When you go to the mastermind, you go with one intention and that is to give value. Give value in any way you can. If you're brand new and you don't have expertise, you don't have money to bring to the table, and you go to a mastermind and there's any type of uh, players there, then you need to go with the attitude of, what can I do for you? What, how can I help your business? What is it you're looking for that I can do for you? I, got, I don't have much to give, right? But what can I do for you? And they will let you in their tribe if they feel like you're, and then perform, follow through. If they say, man, I'm just, I need more deals. Okay, well, what kind of deals? Where are you going? What can I do? Uh, can I drive for dollars for you? Can I farm for you? You know, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Can I come, can I, can I work for free for you? Whatever you have to do under those successful people in your market or whatever mastermind you're part of, do it. Do whatever you have to do to give, 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 and then that will reciprocate. It will, the, the law of reciprocity will come back to you tenfold. Okay, that's the biggest thing you can do. Don't go to a mastermind with, what can you do for me? 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 I, when I feel that or sense that at a mastermind that I participate, I'm out. I don't even want to be part of it because it's not about what can I get, it's about what can I give. And when everybody in the mastermind is in a mindset of, hey, I'm here to give and provide value in any way that I can, you will get so much. I mean, the guy that leads this mastermind, he is a walking, talking resource guide. I mean, I know if there's anything I need, a hard money lender, a contractor, man, he's my go-to. I text him and I say, hey, Brandon, you know what, uh, uh, I need this or I need that. You know, who, who should I talk to? Who do you know? He hooks me up and he just gives, gives, gives. And because of that, he gets, I know he gets tenfold. And so I try to follow that same philosophy in my life and the masterminds that I join. So do that one tip. Find a mastermind. They're all around you. They're meetup groups. Ideally get uh, specific with flippers if you can. You know, these masterminds can be so powerful for your personal growth, for your personal development. And make the time. Like, I'm so busy. I'm so busy with all my life, my family, my eight kids, you know, my, my health, my fitness goals. You know, like... But I'll tell you what, when, when Brandon says, hey, we're meeting up and here's when we're meeting up, I'm like, in my calendar, I'm, I'm there, I'm not missing that for nothing because, uh, and I'm going with the attitude of, hey everybody, how can I help you, what can I give? And that's what I go and it, they're, they're just so powerful and so impactful. I'm here with Brandon Simmons. This guy is the ultimate masterminder. He is like the, when you talk about go giving, I just love Brandon so much for that. He runs a couple of masterminds here locally in Phoenix. And what I love about it is he just gives so much value. If there's something I need, a hard money lender, a contractor, a connection, Brandon is so well connected. So I just wanted to say thank you for that and bad, all you so do. Much. And and uh, guys, you really want a mastermind. It's a really important thing to do. Brandon, you've really bought into that concept of masterminds and it's allowed you to really connect with a lot of people and you know, it's allowed you to really grow your business. I mean. What's one good tip with masterminding that you could give? Think about how you can add value to someone that you meet. How can you help them? The reciprocity will happen, so don't worry about that. Yeah, so go there with the idea of what can I give, what can I give, not what can I get. You got it. Love yeah. it. Awesome. If you like this video, if you like what you're learning, subscribe to my channel and make sure that you don't miss these videos. Make sure that you plug me in as your daily resource when you're in the car driving to listen to Jerry videos and make sure that you're continually focusing on building the business, doing this the right way, and so that you can be, do, have, and give everything that matters in life, and that's what this is all about, and I'll see you on the next video.